Welcome to TrendWave. Thank you for joining TrendWave this morning. Um, so today there's something quite interesting trending. Ned Woko, a popular Nigerian politician and husband of movie star Regina Daniels, has accused men who do not marry more than one wife of contributing to immorality in the society. He said this in an interview where he granted where he also urged men to emulate another man by marrying more than one wife. Now, this is quite interesting. In his words, he said this, and I quote, he said, many women are out there without a husband, especially in the southern part of the country, and there's a high level of prostitution. If the southern men emulate their northern counterparts by marrying more than one wife, that could probably change the situation. Now, he also went on to say that an average southerner may have one wife with girlfriends, and he's spending money on the girlfriend, sometimes even much more than his wife. And uh, for instance, he went, he went on to say that, for instance, the man who has three wives concentrates on them while every money he makes is spent on his family and is even more likely not to have a girlfriend or concubines. Now, this money that those with several girlfriends spend on them is a gift, not an investment in the family. Now, Ned Woko, we know, has multiple wives noted that himself and the only of if or by any tour, Ogun we see, are serving Nigeria by marrying many wives. Now, Ned has further claimed to have the same background as the Oni and explained that their grandfathers were kings and had served Nigeria in that capacity. Where, and they also are now serving Nigeria by marrying many wives. That's quite interesting if you ask me. But let's take a look at some of the comments that have trailed this particular story on social media. That one is from Everything Fairly Used. It says, it's not about polygamy. Are you ready to unite your wives and kids? A lot of men are feeding from hand to mouth with children who they are unable to take good care of. At least the rich can afford polygamy because money stops nonsense. What do I know? Do what works for you. That is from everything fairly used. That comment is from Josh Elewa. He says, funny enough, it's kind of right. I mean, women are like twice the numbers of men. We can't just abandon the rest. That particular comment is from Justin Elewa. Austin goes on to say, Omar, these days the wrong seems right and the right seems wrong. The blind now leads the way. Whoa. That's an interesting comment. That particular comment is from Doris. Doris says, it's, take, it's talking to those who have money to take care of more than one woman and children. Word of advice. Triple J says, I'm a one man, I'm a one man, one wife advocate. But this makes sense though. With the statistics on female population against male, isn't it obvious we are avoiding calling a spade a spade? That comment is from Triple J. Interesting comment on this story, but I'll go quickly to my next story where a few days after Nigerian megastar Whiskey granted an interview to 10 Magazine saying he no longer listens to rap music, calling it dead, boring, and having similar beats and style. Many Nigerian rap musicians have gotten in their feelings reacting to this post, calling it degrading and dismissive. Now, this statement has drawn reactions from Nigerian rappers such as MI, YC, and all of disagreeing with the Grammy winner, saying that, you know what? This is a bit over the top. After staying silent on the issue, Black Bones, who regards Whiskey as his idol, has finally decided to air his views as he reveals he is disappointed and hurt by the comment. We'll take a look at Black Bones' um, post very quickly. Now, in a Twitter post which uh, uh, Black Bones made on Monday, the 5th of December 2022, he said that the last few days uh, for him have been, he has been reflecting and looking back at how far he has come, the wins and the losses, whatever. Whatever rap may or may not be, it got me this and everything I have. The court like fans who by far are the best of everything. Well, he stated a lot of things. He stated that it's common knowledge that he's a big fan of Whiskey and while he, he was not bothered by the content of the interview, it was the later comment on Snapchat that hurt him. Whiskey described rappers as broke while stating that there were only three rappers in Africa, Nasty C, Sarkozy, and Black Sherry. Now, this post hit Black Bones very solely, which led to that post you can see on your screen now fans have continued to drop in their two cents and commentary on the situation rearing its ugly head if you ask me now well let's see the comments that people have made on this story lme 99 plus says this is the very first time i will support your opinion black bones whiskey is largely known for keeping calm whenever people diss him but he lost it all recently i can never rate whiskey again bold statement victor ogunu says i'm a big fan of uh, black bones, but I'm more disappointed in you uh, than you're disappointed in, in whiskey. You forgot how Wiz helped you, posted your album, called you for a section, but you let the pressure get to you and you're saying all of this. I pray you know exactly what you're doing. Prayers. That's from Victor Ogunu. Kilo Kone says, so your fellow guys dissing him and referring to him and limiting his lyrics 
So she tell me say, Mr. T Mr. She tell me say, wasn't belittling him and his crap because it doesn't talk and you all are taking the, ad the advantage. Can any of you all drag Bonner that way? You disappointed yourself. He always loves you. That is from Kilo Coin. And Lambano says, don't listen to what this, those who recycle beats and lyrics and all they sing about his room. And I love rap. I'm in love with rap. Rap explains everything and gives solutions. We got you, bro. Keep healing our souls with your amazing talent. One love. And that particular comment is from Lambano. Well, that's how people are reacting to these stories on social media. Uh, I want to hear your take on this, um, Osaoge and Olive. Also, that one is from Peter Daniel. Peter Daniel says, I don't see anything wrong. The only reason is spoiling someone else's business. If rap is boring to big ways, he should have kept it personal to himself. The goal for the feed, the family, and hustle for the bag, make with no spoil another person on. Your yesterday's performance was crazy, man. Of course, that's Peter Daniel commenting and complimenting Black Bones for an amazing performance. Well, that's how people are reacting to these stories on social media. Very interesting stories today. But I want to hear your takes on this story, Osaragi and Olive. Now, there you have um, Black Bones saying he's disappointed in Whiskey for, for calling rappers boring and um, dismissing all their efforts. And that's also Ned Woko on the other side saying that he's helping the country, he's helping by embracing polygamy and i think it's a very bold approach what what do you what do you make of this well for black bones he's entitled to his opinion uh a maker the stallion in the eyes of many people can do no wrong but of course. he's entitled to his opinion and i think that's what i'll say about that i'll allow Sage re react to that and then we'll go to the i think well, we spoke about this um you know with um some dandy, some dandy I, yes. I think yeah, um, you know, first of all, I said it that you know, Wiz wasn't even referring to Nigerian rappers. He was talking about rap in general, and he's allowed to not like rap. It's not by force that he must like rap. Nigerian rappers just took it upon themselves to, you know, that it was a personal attack at them. Um, but I think they should prove him wrong. All right, do some rap music. Let and you know the funny thing, Wiz has actually gone on to post and say that at the end of the day, after making this post, none of them has dropped any yeah, exactly. song. And I'm saying, is it that easy to drop music? We have to go. It's to not very the easy, but at the same I time, I feel like they are just taking, you know, more Panadol than they should be taking. But mm -hmm. I, I want to talk about the Ned Wonko, Ned Wonko uh, story. Mm -hmm. um, so I find it, I find it disrespectful to women. Um, see, um, you know, describing them as people who will turn prostitutes if they don't find husbands. You know, I, I, I don't think that was a, uh, you know, a good thing to say. Um, that it would reduce prostitution if men marry more wives. Um, there's a lot of women who are not married, may never get married, and would never also be prostitutes. There's also um, wives who are prostitutes. Um, and so I, felt, I find that you know, very, very disrespectful. And I think it also paints a picture of what I would dare say. I wouldn't I, say this. I, don't say this, please. Yeah, Thank I, you. I wouldn't say this. But I'm proud of you. Thank you very much for speaking on behalf of us women. I don't think there's anything left to add. Marriage is a wonderful institution. Many women like the idea of marriage, but in the same breath, there are women who do not want to get married. And that should not be the yardstick for determining, uh, determining a woman's morality or chastity. I think that's all that I'll say about that story. I'll just say he has stated his opinion and his opinion will definitely be valid for himself and some other people. Well, good luck to them. Thanks very much, Liz, for Always stopping by. Good to see you. Yeah.